you too must become change agents. As Olympians in the field of human services, you must bring about change to the inequalities that plague communities of color and other minority communities. You must make our society a better place by protecting the rights of the most vulnerable members of our society, the elderly, the mentally challenged, and the communities of color. You must be the voice for those where the lawmakers try to silence their voices with unfair laws. You must walk in protest for those too frail and those who are physically impaired to walk in protest. You must be their hero, their advocate, their shining star in a life of darkness. This is your charge. You will run different races when you go back to your professions, but do not forget the lessons that you learned inside and outside of the classrooms of Lincoln University. Never let anyone or anything dim your light. And always remember, to whom much is given, much is required. I've been honored to be able to bring these words to you tonight. It has been a greater honor to be one of your instructors. I've watched you grow. We've grown together. I am proud of each of you tonight. God bless you, congratulations, and go forth as a proud Lincoln University Masters of Love. Thank you. And every time I touch this podium, I am reminded, I was a student just like these students. I was a student. And I remember Dr. Z, his pictures in my office, not a day goes by that I don't think about him and hope that he's proud. I also want to honor another faculty member that I had, Dr. Frank Wartz, who was also one of my instructors who passed away. And I also want to lift up the name of my colleague, Solomon Cottle, who was also a colleague of, we were at Fielding. And, um, and I want you to take a moment to think about those loved ones that you may have lost um, during either your time here or but those loved ones who, or before you even got here, but who continue to lead you and guide you. I can hear Dr. Z's voice, Pamela, you know. So uh, I hear it all the time, and Solomon, and also um, Dr. Wartz, and also our parents, you know, people who paved the way. Some people could not even imagine receiving a master's degree, even a high school diploma. Remember, Lincoln was founded at a time when we were, it was against the law to teach black people to read. And here you have students who are not only reading, but who are excelling, all right? And so again, just take a moment to just honor those individuals, just very briefly. If you want to say their name, you can. So I just want to thank everybody. And I especially want to thank Dr. Uh, Caudill. Dr. Caudill, he would not let me, he yelled at me. Oh, when you gonna come to class? Oh, because I was kind of on the boat whether I wanted to start the program or not. And he yelled at me, he at me. So I especially want to thank him. But again, thank everybody for coming and I'm honored to uh, be in this society. I just want to say thank you um, to all y'all for supporting me, my family, my friends, Dr. Kenneth, Dr. Hill, Dr. Wiley, Mr. Neves, all y'all, Dr. Harper, my he my favorite. <laughs> 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 Um, and my daughter and my friends, yes, thank you. Excellence, excellence in every capacity. And I just want to say I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. You are always safe in my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
lost, of, you know, a lot of important people in our lives um, through, you know, just driving, through just all those little things that um, sometimes we don't see. I just want you to know that we recognize everything you've done, your hard work, and you're such a bright light in everybody's life, and I hope you know and acknowledge for yourself how special you are. And we want you, um, Mommy, Mama Pop Pop, to all know, we all want you to know how much we love you and proud of you, um, and again, you're just a very special bright light in everybody's life. How y'all doing? Um, i a friend of David Banks here. I'm proud of him. I'm in the transportation business, so I would see him travel all the way from Harrisburg, so he would yeah. he would make that trek. So uh, I'm proud of everybody. Also, I'm first generation, so mm -hmm. seeing uh, my, when I graduated from school, from college, seeing my parents' face, you know, um, congrats to all you guys. You know, there was a cost to be here, but you guys all paid the ultimate price that no one can take away from you now, so congrats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I commend you and I'm proud to stand with you guys on May the 5th when we all graduate with our master's degree. As you know, by me keeping us together, I want to thank you guys for the late nights mm -hmm. conversations and keeping me up. Holding each other up. Remember, we'll always be family. David, you're always there for me to look at my paper and tell me, Miss Felicia, when I feel myself going down, you're going to be all right. Let me give you a hug. Chanel, my 2 o'clock a.m., 3 o'clock a.m., 4 o'clock a.m., 5 o'clock a.m., me, you, and Q, always on the phone. Jane, my girl, my inspiration, my lift me up. We going to do this together. It's a time. Girl, she gives it to me, and she gives it to me straight, and she don't hold back. I am honored to be in such company. I'm proud of you, always will be a family, and I say God bless. I'm, I'm honored to be in such a Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We learn so much from you as well. Sometimes we learn too much, but we do learn. <laughs> It's all data. Remember, it's all data. Everything is data. Everything is data. Um, but you have made a mark. You have made a mark. All right. And thank you all for being you. You showed up authentically. You know, you showed up in your full self. I've watched the growth. Lisa, Dr. Hill is one of the first, you know, the, the um, Writing class, yeah, right. That and red so, pen. That red, oh, so we 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 saw you from when you first came in, right? I remember that first paper, European dominance, right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah everybody remembers that paper, right? Um, you know, we don't talk about lifespan development, but I saw you from the beginning, and I just want you to say we've seen the growth. You know, I've seen. I've also seen when you said, I'm out, I quit, I don't want to do this, I can't do this anymore. Yes, your records have been examined and they have been certified as meeting all local and international qualifications for membership. I recommend them to you individually for membership. Candidates, as your name is called, please come forward to receive the items of the official membership. Then, please remain standing. By reciting the motto of Pi Gamma Nu, Mu, you pledge to honor the society's ideals and purposes and will thereby complete all requirements for official membership. David Lewis Beck. has been here since 1854 to the woman to the woman who has been a has been a lifesaver and a life giver to every MHS cohort since 1982 none of us would be here if it had not been for you Miss Junice oh, oh, okay. mm. 
There's nothing greater than thank you. That's what you say to God, is thank you. Everybody, let's give a hand to Mr. Neal. It's a wonderful feeling when you love what you do, and you guys allow me to do it so well. I thank you. David, I salute you. Mm -hmm. Come on out, Johnny. Mm -hmm. On behalf of the students, we are excited to present you with this award because of your outstanding dedication to fostering a supportive and inclusive environment on campus. Your commitment to student welfare, both academically and personally, has not gone unnoticed. Through your leadership, you have consistently advocated for the well-being and success of every student under your care. Mm -hmm. Your efforts have created a safe and welcoming space for all students to feel supported and valued. Thank you for your tireless dedication and for being a shining example of excellence and leadership. We are grateful for all that you do to make this campus a better place. With warm regards, the School of Adult and Continuing Education, Masters of Arts and Human Services, Class of 2024. Stay here.